This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by FreeMindsTV.com Is that you? It's me. Do you have any concerns about that video that surfaced of an EMT uh, swiping a reporter's camera the other day? Ambush is probably too strong a word for it. But in journalistic jargon, that's technically what this is. In this case, it's me standing outside a city hall meeting, snagging interviews, whether the councilmen want them or not. You never know what kind of reaction you're going to get, but the less they want you there, the better your video will be. I like I got a leaf or something and stuck in there. Blog guy, we're in a little blog called RidleyReport.com. I need to get my coat and get over across the street. Here's the same approach outside a state house hearing. In this case, State Rep. Eleanor Shellman explaining, or trying not to explain, why she thinks there should be a gun ban at the State House. She promptly lost her seat, but the video just keeps on going. Meeting video can be important, yes. And no, I don't really enjoy this kind of confrontation. But do you really think these shots of Obama zombies standing at a podium are half as interesting as these shots of Obama zombies refusing to answer questions? So this is actually sounding like a pre-press interview, so I'd like to hold off. So you guys are you're trying to keep anybody from talking to the press, is that right? No. Do you think these shots of an activist making his case are half as interesting as this interview with a politician who advocates snitching? That's how all crimes are solved. People snitch on somebody. If you want to save time and boost viewership, you show up before a meeting. You walk up to the authoritarians, camera rolling, you politely question them. I don't understand why more of you aren't doing this. I have no idea why you show up for hearings, sit there for two hours, waiting for a chance to beg the authorities with testimony they will probably ignore. But you will not take 10 minutes before the hearing to actually do something constructive that cannot be ignored. Something the world outside will actually see. Heck, you could probably conduct five unwelcome interviews in the time it would take you to sit through one of these quaalude quorums. Now, perhaps doing this is not in harmony with testifying in front of the person you taped. But they probably don't care what you have to say anyway. It's the public that cares. It's like Claire Wolf once said, don't write your congressman, write a letter to the editor. Here's another trick of the trade that I use. Sit around near the entrance to the legislative office building on a busy day of hearings. Representative Butcher, did you vote, or did you promise not to vote for an income tax? No way. Question anti-liberty reps about their positions. If you don't recognize any of them from the Ridley Report, bring a friend along who does. I can't be everywhere, but liberty activists can, more or less. Some of you just need to do it. Even a small minority would be enough. Testimony has its place. Sometimes it helps. Nearly always it's better than doing nothing. But ask yourself if you are making the best use of your time by investing so many hours into so few minutes of testimony. It's testimony only a couple dozen people will notice. Wouldn't you be better off investing a single hour into three or four ambush interviews that grab hundreds of YouTube hits each? It's one of the most effective ways to get your vid on the Ridley Report and put the fear of political oblivion into your tormentors. Just remember, to double your legal safety, announce that you're audio taping and preferably put a sign to that effect on your camera. Send me the link when your clip is up. This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by FreeMindsTV.com Broadcasting news and opinion for Keene, New Hampshire and the Monadnock region. If you like the Ridley Report, you'll love Free Minds TV. FreeMindsTV.com